What's going on guys? Mix it here, back again for another summer cocktail. And this is summer cocktail number six, the rattlesnake. So you know who you are who recommended this to me. So this one is for you, for my subscriber Tom, who recommended that I do the rattlesnake. So if you don't know about the rattlesnake guys, it is from the Savoy cocktail book, Nine Furs by Harry Craddock. That is where it first appeared. So it's a classic cocktail and we're going back to 1930 for this one. So it's nearly a hundred years old, this recipe. So with the quote in the book from Harry Craddock, if you've ever made the rattlesnake, he says this. So it's so cool because we'll either kill the rattlesnake bite or kill rattlesnakes or make you see them. So it's a very strong cocktail. It's got absinthe in it and it's certainly a fun classic cocktail. And I will show you guys how to make the rattlesnake. So let's get straight into it. So the first ingredient to the team, guys, is 52.5 or one and three quarter ounce of rye whiskey. I'm using Sazerac. It's a little bit weaker than what's recommended. It's going to say it's minus 45% or 90 proof. It's going to say it asks for 100 proof or 50%. But it doesn't really matter too much, truthfully. Next into the team, guys, is... 22.5 ml or three quarter ounce of citric acid dilution. So this is my substitute for the fresh lemon juice. And it's dead easy to make and it's very cost effective. Keep buying lemons and limes. It adds up the price. And this can save you a bomb as I buy about one kilogram bag of citric acid powder and then I just mix it in with water. So about 10 grams to 350 ml of cold water and then blend it and there you go. Look how clear that is and say so you like lemon juices and your lime juices. And it's just as tasty, it still has that citrus taste, and I highly recommend it. That is a mixed tip. Next, 15ml or half an ounce of sugar syrup or simple syrup for an American audience. So I'm using Monin, highly recommend them if you ever do use this brand. As you can't go too far wrong with them. Next, three dashes of absinthe. So this is about five mil. So just a tiny dot. So just a tiny bit of absinthe. Truthfully, there's probably a little bit more than five mil that I put in there. <laughs> but oh well. So the last thing to do, because we're going to do a wet shake first and then the dry shake for the reverse dry shake is we're we'll going to put an egg white right now. So I forgot to add, uh, mention it, I've already put the ice in as well. I've put in four to five ice cubes as well. So as you can see from the there, it's getting nice and cold. So crack your egg. So all you want is the egg white. What I normally do, normally cracks. There we go. So put your lid on, and now we'll give it a hard shake 10 seconds, try and get a nice foam and then we'll do the dry shake. So what we're going to do now is pour it into this. You can see already it's got a nice foam on it. And now straight back into your tin shaker. So this time just gotta remove the ice. Well 
we're going to do now is the reverse dry shake. So put your head back on and give it a nice hard shake for 10 seconds. Try and get this as much foam as we can. So get your coupe glass and strain into it. So what we're going to do now is just let the drink settle now. As you can see, you've got a nice phone, you can see where it is. So that is an excellent cocktail. I've had it once before, I have made one before on this channel and it's brilliant. So what we'll do now is give a zoom up of the cocktail. Right, so a little tip for you, absinthe doesn't work. So what we're going to do is do our bitters. I'm going to start with This is the, probably the best one to do it on. So I put in a little bottle. So get your cocktail stick and see if we can get the perfect one now. So there we go ladies and gentlemen, one rattlesnake cocktail. I cannot wait to try this a very powerful classic cocktail that goes back to the year 1930. So there it is, another masterclass from Harry Craddock from his cocktail book. So there we go, there you have it, the rattlesnake cocktail. How does this classic taste? Can imagine it's a perfect way to get a night <laughs> to get a night out. Oh, this has got plenty of bites where it's, it's got absinthe in it as well. But say, will I cure the rattlesnake by myself or will I be seeing more rattlesnakes? Hmm. Plenty of kick sweat, especially with the rye whiskey and the a little bit of absinthe that I might have put in a little bit too much rather than the three dashes. I say I probably went 10 mil rather than the 5 mil that I wanted to, but it's certainly got a little bit of sweetness to it. It's gonna say it's more on the sour side of it, but as a little bit of sweetness bounced out from the simple syrup. So it's a very nice cocktail, but do not underestimate this cocktail. Certainly recommend it. It's nice to garnish and it's perfect for a nice summer's day as well. It's beautiful. So if you want to try your bartender skill a bit in mixology, there's a rattlesnake. So if you ever do get a chance, I do recommend it. For me, I think it's a solid 9.5 out of 10. It's near enough perfect. But say if it's bourbon rather than rye, it'd probably be a 10 out of 10. Like I said, that, that's just me being biased because I love bourbon rather than rye. So that's my, one of my favorite whiskeys to go to. I prefer bourbon. But with rye, it's still a very nice choice. And it's certainly fantastic as well. And also with the, with the, so with the rye whiskey, because this is a Sazerac, it also makes America's first cocktail, which is a Sazerac. So this has been the Snakeback Cocktail. It's going to say, certainly a good shout from Tom. I recommend it. It is absolutely stunning and it's very, very tasty and it's boozy. What more could you ask for than a cocktail? It has the showmanship, it has the booze, and it gets the party started. That is a rattlesnake cocktail. You cannot beat the classics. Go say, do give me your thoughts in the comments below. Go say, what do you think of the snake bag? Have you ever tried it? Have you ever made it? But I've been mixing. This has been the rattlesnake cocktail. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and mix it for more cocktails like this. As what I'll be doing now is my five summer cocktail you must try for my 2K, uh, for my 2K subscriber special, my bonanzas. That's going to be my send off for the summer, I think. As we're now fast approaching September. So we'll be starting into autumn because so we'll make some more funky cocktails, I think. But I've been mixed and I will see you guys for my next some cocktail video. Cheers. You must try this, it's fantastic. I think that's better than the first version that I made all those years ago.
and I've just ruined the drink. Fantastic!